Yep. Hey guys, how's it going? One of back at once again for a brand new video for you. And welcome to round eight of our Sebastian Vettel career mode, and welcome to not so sunny Austria. The hills are alive with the sound of rain, and yeah, as you may have seen in that little preview sequence, I am now playing at legend difficulty. Yeah, I gave in, and the reason why I gave in is, like I said before, the difficulty differences are too steep and expert is clearly too easy for me if i can win from the back in canada and then win by 40 seconds it's, 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 it's too easy i'd rather struggle and finish midfield than win this easily to be honest with you so you got your wish i'm playing on the highest difficulty you're all very very welcome now, let's just have a quick look at the forecast here. Hmm. This looks, looks like the rain's going to get better. I'm not sure if it's going to stay like this the whole weekend. I'm not sure if I just stick the dry setup on, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to do that and gamble. Because they're saying it's full wet conditions. I do have a setup already in place, but I think I'm going to make it a bit less aggressive. It's more of a time trial setup. Um, let's go free one on the wings. Uh, cameras at the full. Let's go eleven one. Something like nine four. I think is about right. So like that. Right. I think I think that'll work out a bit better. But, yeah, I'm going to get some quick practice laps in, in the wet just in case. And uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Lewis Hamilton has recorded the fastest time of the day in oh, he dried out towards the end. The That's annoying. Be mightily pleased with just how well his car performed. That's really annoying, actually, because they said it was going to be light rain in, like, 15 minutes. And I thought that was going to be the end of the session's fault. What's the point? Uh, Could have got some dry running in. That's a, that's a small annoyance, but the times weren't that fast. So I'm not too worried either. I know what I can do in this car. So, yeah, let's go on to qualifying. Saturday afternoon, and that means it's qualifying here in Austria. Welcome to the Red Bull Ring. This is going to be an interesting session. Who's going to come out on top in qualifying today? Having spoken to many people in the paddock, no one seems to have an outright winner in mind. It is certainly difficult to predict. I would say it's advantage Mercedes but you can never rule anything out. I reckon we are probably looking at three or four teams who can realistically fight for pole position today. <laughs> three or four teams. That's a great joke. Right. Okay, so 18 minutes. It's only the one qualifying session. So uh, let's get cracking, shall we? Just got to double check the tyres and the fuel. Make sure everything's up to snuff. Option tire. And... Knock that fuel back down. Okay. Let's see if we can set something good here. Like, I know I can get... Okay, I know I can get somewhere within like a low 108 if I'm in a, if I'm in good form. Let's see what we can do here. Not bad, not bad. I might have left a little bit of time on the table, but not much. Like. Turn three wasn't great, but besides that, I think that was pretty good. 108.7. I think there's a little bit more in that. Let's see what the times are looking like here. 109.5 from Hamilton. They can go a bit quicker than that. They were doing, like, Hamilton was doing that in practice. Look at that, my middle sector was really mediocre as well. Like, that's a 31.5. Like, it's the first sector I've won this in a moment because it looks like I'm really fast through turn one, but the middle sector was poor. 
But we're on pole position. <laughs> How's that for some news? And by nearly now by nearly nine tenths of a second. He's put in the fastest lap of the session, and he's... And like I said, well, he's got I know I can go faster than that. It was a pretty good lap. It wasn't a perfect lap, but... For what should be a very exciting race. I will take that. That's a good sign. If, if I mean, Hamilton, 109.5 was his fastest time. Rosberg, 109.7. Raikkonen, 109.9. Then Massa. Carlos signs in sixth place for Toro Rosso. That's a superb job from him. Um, Vartari Bottas in 7th, then Nasa in 8th for Sauber. Great job from the Sauber guys as well. Nico Hulkenberg in the top 10 for Force India. Um, Daniel Ricciardo down to 10th. Grosjean, Eriksson, Perez, Kvyat in 14th. That's disappointing. Max Verstappen in 16th place. That's disappointing as well. But okay, it's race time. Two hours outside of Vienna is Spielberg, a spectacular circuit with dense forests and rolling hills as a backdrop. What a destination for today's race. Time to get ready for the Austrian Grand Prix. A wonderful performance from Sebastian Vettel yesterday sees the driver starting from P1 in today's race. A race that, of course, he'll be hoping he can go on and win. He'll want to stay out of trouble over the first few laps, but he'll be determined not to let any cars past him. If he can maintain that position once everything's settled down, he'll have a massive advantage and be able to control the race. In a familiar story, it's Sebastian Vettel who stands proudly on top of the driver's standings. Can anyone stop him adding yet another title to his collection? Winning his fifth would put him equal with Fangio, who dominated the sport in the 50s. Seb would still need two more titles to equal his hero Michael Schumacher, but would anyone really bet against him doing that? Strong words there for Mr. Davison. I would, I mean, I'm the biggest Vettel fan you, you probably know on the on this here internet, but not even I think he's going to match Schumacher's seven. I think that's a bit lofty unless Ferrari go on another dominant tear. Um, I don't see that happening. But it's looking like it's going to be a free stop race. Um, stops on laps eight, sixteen, and then twenty-five. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, just here's hoping we can make it work out here. Um, yeah, I'm feeling quietly confident here. I mean, this again, this is my first legend difficulty race. Um, let's do this. Not not the best start. Oh, Hamilton looking into a turn one, and he's got me. Good start from Lewis. <laughs> We've got, got a ritual mix and a, and a good amount of... Power. Look at this. We just That Ferrari power unit coming into play here. And we take the lead back into turn two. So maybe, maybe a bit of a collision back there as well. But this is going to be a long 36 laps. Until the end of the first lap. Look at that. Hamilton's been dropped. Did he make a mistake somewhere? <laughs> He's now a second behind already. And now Rosberg is right on his tail. Look at that. They're going side by side towards turn three. Great racing. Rosberg's had to slot back in there behind Hamilton. But it looks like Hamilton may have made a mistake somewhere on that third sector because he, he lost two thirds of a second in the last sector alone. And he's lost another half second now. They're really in the wars back there. Rosberg, Hamilton, Raikkonen, all fighting for second place at the moment. Has Hamilton got a problem, I wonder? Did he lose a wing? I wonder. What's the gap now? It's 1.7 seconds. Hamilton still holding off Rosberg, and it looks like there's a train behind Hamilton for second at the moment. Just got to take advantage of this scrapping and see if we can break away. They're still at it. Gap's now 2.3 seconds. No, I swear to God, you saw it at the start of the video. I'm playing at legend, I promise. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Did Hamilton take a front wing? I do not know how I'm going this much faster. 3.1 seconds now the gap. Okay, I've got to look at this here. 
Does Hamilton lose a wing? Has he got front wing damage? There's no way he'd be this, sl this much slower than me normally. Because look, look at that. There's a, there's a proper train right there going on behind them. Oh, almost contact there as well. Hang on. Let me just slot the camera around here. No, his front wing looks like it's intact. It's just, I just, I don't get it. <laughs> How on earth is Hamilton being this uncompetitive? He's got Rosberg all over him and he can't get past him. I'm not complaining. I'm just getting the hell out of here. Because these tires are going to start to go off quite quickly. It's a, it's a full load of fuel, and I'm only meant to last eight laps on these tires. Gap still going up now, 3.3. And Rosberg has now passed Hamilton. He's, someone's gone into the pits. Is that Hamilton? Is that Hamilton that's gone into the pits for something? Hang on. There's Hamilton. Yes, he's dived into the pits. He must have had some kind of front wing problem then or something. Weird, his front wing is still intact. That is really bizarre. And now gap's down to 2.9. It looks like Hamilton did have some kind of problem because now Rosberg's taking time out of me. And he's 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 leaving Felipe Massa behind. They want me in on lap six. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take their word for it on this one. Rosberg's going to keep going, but yeah, we'll try the undercut. They want me in on lap six. I'm coming in on lap six. Tires did look pretty shagged there, actually. It's like I'm the only person that went in the pits on this lap as well, which probably isn't ideal. Hamilton goes even faster. That's a 110.3. And we've come out in traffic. A lot of it. Is that Hamilton side by side? That's Hamilton. He's overtaken us. Are we getting back at the corner? You cheeky scamp, Hamilton. We've got a train to get through here. There's Alonso dispatched. Next up, Jensen Button. Oh, God. Come on, JB, out of the way. That's a good lad. Come on! It could be a nudge there. Has Rosberg stopped yet? That's all I want to know. Could be it and Pastel coming back around the outside. Dispatched. Right. That was the worst case scenario there. I should have gone for another lap. Caught up in traffic. The good news is now Hamilton's got to deal with that traffic. Ericsson and Perez coming into the pits.
Rosberg. They're coming out in the lead by the looks of it. Yes, we've come out in front. It looks like Hamilton's already cleared the deck as well. And we are on fresher tyres than Hamilton. Hamilton, I think, came in on lap three. So he's we're three seconds ahead of him right now. So you've got to capitalise on this and push, push, now we, push when we can. Let's burn some of this fuel. Hamilton took two tenths out of us there. That's not too bad, given the way this race has gone so far. I mean, given the state of the tyres, and if Hamilton came in when he did, Hamilton should be coming in in a couple of laps' time. Fastest lap of the race, 110.1. Excellent. Now it'd be a good time to try and extend this set as long as I can. The longer I can go on these set of tyres... I can make up for the undercut from earlier. Because Hamilton doesn't look that fast at the minute. It looks like his pace is a, is a little bit worse than mine. That was a 110.3 last time and I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, in we go. Okay. You know what? The extra lap was, I think, was necessary. The undercut was gonna was gonna keep hurting us in the long run. There, we had to get, had to stretch that one out. But Bottas and Rosberg are still fighting. Where's Hamilton? That's that's gonna be the marker here, I think. They're in fourth place. Grosjean's coming round. Where is Hamilton? He's just set the fastest lap of the race at 109.8. You see, he's just coming over the line now. Have we come out ahead of him? Yes, we have. <laughs> Oh, it looks like Hamilton's having problems getting past Grosjean. <laughs> He's really held him up. Everything seems to be falling my way right now. I'm getting a ridiculous amount. Of, that, that's the fastest lap of the race. 109.5. So okay, so people have gone in the pits. We're into second place now. Hamilton's gotten past Grosjean. Rosberg, has he pitted or not? I don't think so. I'm 10 seconds behind him and I'm the fastest guy on track right now. It's a good sign. It means I'm probably going to come out in front if I'm only 10 seconds behind him. Some DRS Rosberg's in the pits. We're going to take the race lead. Easily. Come out to take the lead of the race. But Rosberg was able to go nine laps on his options. I wonder, could he be two stopping? What tyres did he come out on? It's now 5.7 ahead of Hamilton. Let's have a look here, real quick. They're all on the options. And as you can see, there's the proof Legend AI. In case you're un under any doubt still. Hamilton is now 9.4 behind. Has he stopped? He has to have done. He has. If Hamilton's the threat, I should be able to pit in now for new tyres. Okay, I got it. Kimmy got a blowout, for God's sake. Rosberg's now 12 seconds behind. I've got a call to make. Do I match Hamilton on strategy? Or do I try and stretch it out, make it a bit safer, and give up some of this lead? I'm going to try and stretch it out. Gap was 10.7. It's probably going to be a lot less than that now. 9.3. Yep, we're coming in. 
can't afford to lose any more time like that. In we go. Okay, this should be our final stop, but I think it's I think it's two laps earlier than what the game was hoping for. Wait, why did they put me on options again? Wait! This game! What have you done? This is my third pit stop. Why have they put me on options? Oh, for the love of God. Okay, new plan. Go as long as possible on these options, and then as soon as they start to get bad, get the primes on. We've got to push now, because the game has screwed us. We're now officially on a four-stop strategy. You know what I feel like right now? I feel like Vettel at China 2012 where, where Rocky just told him on the radio, Go racing, Seb. <laughs> Let's go racing. Bottas coming into the pits now. Is Rosberg in? Yes, he is. No, that's actually Maldonado. Rosberg's still going. Well, that is a lap down, mind you. He's got to get out of the way. Six point six behind Rosberg now. How many got DRS? That's a nice little help. Shut up. In we go. God, I've never concentrated so hard in my life. Okay. That was a really slow stop. Why was that a 3.8 second stop? Come on, Ferrari. Rosberg's overtaken us. Look after these tyres. Look after them. You're funny. Come to be with the target. Say no more. <laughs> Let's go racing. <laughs> Gap was six seconds over the line. It is now 5.2. Okay, we've got something here. And that was a bad middle sector for traffic reasons. Rosberg's just coming over the line now. We're coming over the line. It's back up to four seconds again. 3.3. We're faster in the middle bits now too. That's a good sign. Is Rosberg's tyres fading? Did he have the traffic with Mehi to deal with, I wonder? Gap 2.7. Out of the way, Mehi! Fuck's sake. <sighs> Rosberg's got traffic as well, though, by the looks of it. Gap 2.7. He's at a dude of Alonso there as a bat marker. He's in the distance. We can see him. That was 2.8. It's now 2.2. <laughs> it is going to be really close. <laughs> of course, we just have to deal with Jensen Button. There's Rosberg. I think that's Rosberg up ahead now. 
Gaps now 1.4. Rosberg lost a ton of time in sector one. I'm giving this car everything I've got right now. Everything. <laughs> you have no idea how much I want to win this race right now. <laughs> I'm doing everything to keep it together. He's in the distance. We could see him. He's sliding around the last corner. <laughs> What's the gap? It's 1.1. This is the final lap of the race. I do not care if I track extend. I really, really want to win this. This is going to go down to the absolute wire. The fuel warning light is on. We're one second away. We're not going to get DRS. <laughs> I think... I think Rosberg might have just about done enough. Come on! Come on, little Ferrari, you've been so good. Come on! Rosberg's gonna hang on. He's just gonna hang on. Last corner. Second flag coming up, we've got DRS, but it's not going to be enough. Rosberg takes the win. We come home in second. Oh my, what a race. Oh my god. It's second, the win streak is over. But... My god, what a race. <laughs> wow. If we had one more lap, one more lap, I think we could have done it. So a great drive today from Nico Rosberg, and I'm sure the Mercedes garage will be celebrating that win oh. long into the night. What a weekend it's been, and one that's been thoroughly enjoyable. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Ant and I, it's goodbye, and see you again next time. Guys, I tried. I really, really tried. That was me at my absolute maximum. I, I, I could not put any more into that if I tried. That might be the best career mode race I have ever done in the four years I've been on YouTube. That was insane. <sighs> what a race. What a race. Nico Rosberg wins. We finished second on a four-stop strategy. And we only finished 0.6 behind him in the end. If, if we had DRS on that last lap, down the back straight towards turn three, maybe, just maybe, I could have tried a, a lunge or something ridiculous. But I, I just wasn't close enough. I really did try. I just did not have it in me. One lap short. I don't know why the game went to a four-stopper. When the game said it was going to be a free stopper in the middle of the race, it's it's stupid. I can't believe that even happened. But yeah, second place, Valtteri Bottas third, Lewis Hamilton fourth. Like just half a tenth behind Hamilton was just a shred away from a podium. Then Massa was 52 seconds back in fifth, ahead of Kimi Raikkonen in sixth, who also had to four stop. As did Daniel Ricciardo in seventh place, um, and Carlos Sainz in eighth. Uh, Max Verstappen 9th, so what a comeback from Verstappen from 16th to 9th. Jensen Button from 18th to 10th, a point for McLaren, well done to him. Uh, Alonso 11th, then Marcus Eriksson, Nico Hülkenberg, Felipe Nazar, Daniel Kvyat, Grosjean, Maldonado Perez, and then the two man. There's a lot of penalties out there as well, actually, that's kind of funny. Must have been some incidents back there we must have missed. But we still lead the World Drivers Championship by 71 points. Over Lewis Hamilton in second, Bottas in third, Raikkonen fourth, Rosberg now up to fifth with that win to put him on 78 points. He's about 108 behind me now in the championship, though. As for the constructors, we have a 77 point lead over Mercedes, where that's concerned. Williams in third ahead of Red Bull, Sauber, Lotus, McLaren now have 18 points. 
Toa with 15 and Force India still stuck on 5. What a race. What a Grand Prix. That was an all-time classic. And I am honestly astonished that, um, that it came down to that. And it came down to the final lap. And it just, I just did not quite have enough to do it. And um, I would have loved to have uh, been able to bring that one home for you and keep the streak alive. But it just didn't work out in the end. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. it was, I think it was a, a, a brilliant, brilliant race. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it too. I've been Harrison101. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Sayonara.